channel. Today we are going to learn how to handle tissues and biopsies in surgical suite. So, to handle tissues and biopsies in a surgical suite, uh, first thing we need to do, when a tissue has been removed from a patient, uh, we need to collect tissue. So for demonstration purposes, uh, take this piece of gauze to be uh, a receiver of my tissue. So it's a piece of gauze, and I'll take this as a tissue that has been removed from a patient. So I have a tissue. So after picking your tissues, the first thing you need to do, you need to get a container. So our containers are labeled, and they have the name of the patient, the date, the room which the procedure has been performed, the name of the doctor, and the specimen. So what you need to do, we need to open our container. After opening the container, you take the tissue and put it in a container. After putting the tissue in a container, we have a tissue preservative solution which is called formalin. So here we have 10% formalin. So we take our formalin, open the formalin, then we pour the formalin on a tissue container. Just enough amount that the tissue can immerse in. Then you close your container. That is the first step. And if your container is not labeled, we have stickers. So there are pre-made stickers that we need to write and label our containers. So you take your sticker and label on the container. And the content of this sticker, we should at least have seven things. One, you need to have the name of the patient the gender, and the age of the patient. You also need to have the hospital number of, uh, of the patient. Then, the surgeon who has performed the procedure, the date that the procedure was done, the specimen, and maybe the facility where the specimen has been taken. Then, after doing that, this week, what we call histology or pathology form. So this form should be filled by the surgeon that has done the procedure. And the content of this form, as we can see here, we have the name of the patient, the hospital number, the date, age, and gender, and the type of tissue that has been removed. Then, down here, we have the method that the tissue, uh, that, the tissue that we are collecting has been removed. So the method would either be uh, how that tissue was removed from a patient. It could be through a needle extract. It could be through an excision or uh, through incision. And then after that, the surgeon will fill the details and uh, history of the patient on this form, and the form should be signed. After signing the form, the circulating nurse will take the form together with the biopsy that is already immersed in formalin and register to biopsy registers. So in a biopsy register, the circulating nurse will ensure that uh, the biopsy has been registered for tracking purposes. So the name of the patient should be there the doctor, the hospital number, and the specimen. Then on that biopsy register, uh, there's also a personnel from histology department that will come to pick the specimen. So when the personnel comes to pick the specimen, the personnel also should sign from the register to show that the specimen has been collected. Uh, this will help us to ensure that we provide the continuity of the care. After, after one or two weeks, uh, the 
surgeon who performed the procedure need to follow up to find out the results of the biopsy that was taken. And depending on the result that will come out from the biopsy that was taken, it will help guide the care of this patient. So why do we have to learn this? Assume you're a patient who has come to a hospital, you have a problem, either you have a tumor, and you, are, you have undergone surgery, and then you need further management. So how are we going to get this further management? This further management will be guided from this tissue that has been removed from you, whether it is positive or negative. If it is positive, the patient will benefit because we'll know the directive that will give this patient for further management. If the tissues are negative, it will be good for the patient, and then it will help also further management. And that's how we handle and collect biopsies from surgical suite. Thank you. So I urge all the viewers, all the healthcare providers, even the people at the public domain, if you like this